Meet Natasha Henry, a 21-year-old mother of four. Henry got her first child at 11 years old, and from that moment on, for her, has become an uphill task. Henry, who hails from Barmeet in Region 1, spent the last six months in the New Amsterdam prison after she was remanded on an assault charge. She was brought to the city and appeared in the Georgia Magistrates Court. The woman said she missed two court dates because no systems were put in place for her to travel to attend court in her area. Henry said she was having a few drinks with her friends when the altercation occurred. Um, we end up drink, uh, drunk and I know we get drunk and me, you know, how come I get this girl? And I caught she, but I didn't know. Uh, my friend them the next morning I wake up in the station and my, my friend them gone and see me. She them said them didn't even know what going on. Cause all two of them went high. Henry was placed on twenty thousand dollars bail by a magistrate at the New Amsterdam prison, but she was unable to post the bail since she has no relatives in the city. I said for me chair and them. Just pray come out for Go back to, to them for live, look after them. I pray every morning. I pray, ask God for go home to Miss Sharon. And then what happened yesterday? Well, yesterday. Your prayer was answered? Yes. Talk to me about the experience. Well, I feel so glad. And she, first she, she passed me and she and then she come to me, asked me. How old me and I tell she open one story and she told me that she obeyed me and it's come true. And I'm so glad that she thank, thanks for obeying me and so. Minister of Youth Affairs Simona Brooms, who was on a visit to the New Amsterdam prison as part of the 36th anniversary of the Ghana Prison Service, was moved by Henry's story and immediately posted the bail. She later spoke with this new scars. Nobody to pay that $20,000 bill. Has four children. Her life story already is so m touching. And then to find yourself languishing in a prison. For heaven's sake, it's a prison. Nobody there. How could have I walked away and leave her there? I just could not do it. One, as a mother. Two, as a woman, I mean, the minister with responsibility for youth, for, um, for, for youth affairs is last. It's last. But the human aspect of me going to a prison, a woman behind bars, and at the same time, her third hearing is in November. Don't know if she even make it back to bar me to the court. The persons who brought her out from there, who was responsible, I mean, you charge her, you brought her out. I mean, you forget a human being in prison. Brooms then encouraged Henry to be a good role model for her children. Use your freedom to better your life, take care of your children, enhancing their life and enhancing your own. Right? All right, good. Thank you so much, Major. Yeah. <laughs> The minister brought Henry to the city after posting the bail and arranged a meeting with the Minister of Indigenous Affairs, Sidney Alicock, who booked a flight for the woman so that she could be reunited with her family. For the entire month of October, the Ghana Prison Service will be celebrating its anniversary under the theme Changing Lives, One Inmate at a Time.